Good day. In this video, you will learn how to find the domain intercepts and zeros of irrational functions. But first, let me give you the learning outcomes of our lesson. At the end of the lesson, you will be able to, number one, determine the domain of irrational function. Two, determine the x and y intercepts of rational functions. And lastly, find the zeros of rational functions. Okay? So, ano ba ang rational function? In the previous lesson, you learned the concept of functions. And also, you learned that rational function is being described as a function of composed of rational expressions. So, therefore, a rational function is a quotient of two polynomials or an equation that can be written in the form of f of x equals p of x over q of x, where polynomials q, okay, polynomials q and polynomials p have no common factors, okay? And polynomial q of x, yun yung nasa denominator, is not zero. Why? Kasi if q of x happens to be zero, the denominator will be equal to zero. Therefore, the function is not defined. So, take note of that. Ano? Uh, Q of x should not be equal to 0. And if there is a common factor between P of x and Q of x in finding the domain of the function, we're still going to use the original uh, value of the function without simplifying the rational expression. Okay? Later on, I'm going to give you an example kung paano yun. Okay, also, the domain of a rational function has restrictions. Okay? So that the denominator is not equal to zero. And I have given you several examples in finding the restrictions in the denominator of irrational expression in mga previous lessons natin. Okay? Now, let's have uh, first uh, an example in finding the restriction on the value of x in the denominator of a rational function. Okay? We have example number one. Determine the restriction of the variable x in the denominator. Uh, mapapansin nyo dun sa topic natin about um, what you call this, rational equation and then rational inequality. Pinedetermine din natin yung restriction dun sa denominator of a rational expression. Ganun din dito sa rational function. The restriction is equating the q of x to 0 in finding the restriction on the variable x. Okay? We have example 1. Ano bang restriction dito? Ano yung value of x uh, na pag nilagay natin on the denominator, the expression is undefined. Of course, 0. Therefore, the restriction is okay, x should not be equal to 0. Okay? For number 2, we have 1 over 2x minus 1. Para makuha natin yung restriction, we equate 2x minus 1 to 0, then transpose negative 1 to the right, and divide both sides by 2. Um, x should not be equal to 1 half. Okay? If x equals to 1 half, 2x minus 1 is equal to Zero, So, that will be the restriction in the denominator. X not equal to 1 half. For number 3, mapapansin nyo, we have x squared minus 1 over x squared plus 1. Whatever we assign to x, any real numbers, uh, the denominator will not be equal to 0. Therefore, walang restriction yung ating number 3. Kasi if we equate that to 0, transposing 1 to the other side, getting the square root of negative 1, we're going to have an imaginary number. But we are talking only here about real numbers. So therefore, walang restriction talaga in number 3. Okay? There are no values of x, real numbers, that can be assigned to x that will make the denominator equal to 0. Therefore, 3, none. Walang restriction, yung ating expression. Okay? Rational expression. How about number 4? 
5x minus 2 equal to 0, transpose negative 2, and divide both sides by 5. The restriction is 2 over 5. Okay? Hindi pwedeng maging value ni x ang 2 over 5 because that will make the denominator equal to 0. So that is how you determine the restriction ng variable x ating denominator. Okay? And we have here example number 2. And example number 2 is about finding the domain of the of irrational functions. Okay, paano ba yun? So, alam naman natin, ang domain ng rational functions ay all reals except dun sa ating uh, value of x that will make the denominator equal to 0 or q of x equal to 0. Yun yung restriction. Okay? And that restriction uh, will not be in the domain of our rational function. Okay? Sample 1, we have f of x equals 1 over x. Anong restriction? So, hindi pwede maging 0 si x. Okay? So, therefore, ang domain natin, all reals, except 0. Okay? So, the domain of the function is x such that x not equal to 0 or using the interval notations we have negative infinity to 0 union to 0 to positive infinity open interval to open interval din to big sabihin yan, 0 is excluded dun sa domain of our function f of x okay we have number 2 f of x equals 1 over x squared Ano yung pwedeng, ah, hindi pwedeng maging value na x dito? Of course, 0 rin. Di ba? Kasi, if that happens, the expression or the function is not defined. Therefore, the domain is all reals except 0. Okay? Or, an interval notation that is negative infinity to 0, union to 0 to positive infinity. How about number 3? Ano yung restriction natin dito dun sa ating denominator? The restriction is 1. Hindi pwedeng maging value ni x si 1. Okay? Because that will make the denominator equal to 0. Therefore, the domain of the function is all reals except 1. Or, that will be negative infinity to 1, union to 1, to positive infinity. So, yun yung ating pag- uh, yun ang domain ng mga given nating rational functions. So, napakalaga na we know how to determine the restriction on our denominator. Kasi yung restriction na yun, that will not be included in the domain of our function. Okay? Another example. We have number 4. x over 2x minus 5, ang ating f of x. So, what should be the restriction on our denominator? The restriction is 5 halves. Because if you equate that to 0 and solve for x, the value of x is 5 over 2. So, therefore, the domain is all real numbers except 5 over 2. Okay? Or, in interval notation, that will be negative infinity to 5 halves, union to 5 halves, positive infinity. Uh, this open interval... Uh, tells us that 5 halves is not in the domain of the function f of x. Okay? And last example is f of x equals 2x plus 1 all over 4x squared minus 1. Notice that the given function is not in simplest form. Okay? Because we can factor out, or we can factor 4x squared minus 1 using difference of 2 squares. Okay? So if that happens, the result is just 1 over 2x minus 1 because we can cancel out 2x plus 1 on top and 2x plus 1 at the bottom, resulting to 1 over 2x minus 1. Well, what, now, the main question is, what is now the domain of our rational function, number 5? Anong susundin natin? Ito bang simplified form of our rational function or the original rational function? Kasi, it matters. Kasi pag ito ang ginamit natin sa pagkuha ng domain, the restriction on the denominator is just one half. Okay? One half lang yan. Pero pag ito ang ginamit natin, so ito yung ating 
factored form of 4x squared minus 1. Uh, if you solve the value of x by equating 4x squared minus 1 to 0, there will be two values of x, positive 1 half and negative 1 half. So, ang gagamitin? The simplified form or the original value of the function. Siyempre, ang gagamitin natin yung original value of the function. Kasi, from the definition of rational functions, q of x, ito yon yung q of x natin. q of x should not be equal to 0. So, therefore, ito magiging basis of finding the domain of our rational function. Okay? Ano yun? So, all reals except positive and negative 1 half. Okay? Kasi, sabi natin sa definition of rational function, we're going to assume that there are no common factors on top and bottom of our rational expression. Okay? Or, using interval notation, the domain is negative infinity to negative 1 half, union to negative 1 half to 1 half, union to 1 half to positive infinity. So, that is the equivalent interval notation of our domain. So, I have given you several examples in finding the domain of the functions. So, just review uh, those uh, video presentations that I've given to you in finding the domain of uh, rational inequality and rational equation, yung finding the restriction, okay? So, review na lang natin. Now, the next is you're going to learn uh, the definition of the intercepts and zeros of rational functions, okay? So, ano ba yung intercepts ng ating rational function? It says, intercepts are points that fly either on the x or y-axis. These are the points which the graph of a function crosses on either x or y-axis. Ibig sabihin, uh, tatama yung ating function either dun sa x or y-axis of the Cartesian plane. So, paano ba makukuha yung ating uh, x-intercept? Simply lang, we equate the function to 0. Ibig sabihin, y equal 0. And then, we solve the value of x. So, therefore, x-intercept is a point whose coordinate is at x0, okay? And to find naman yung y-intercept natin, all we have to do is we equate x to 0, or x equal to 0. And then we solve for the value of y. So therefore, y-intercept is actually a point whose coordinate is at 0y. So ganun lang kasimple. To solve for the x-intercept, we let y equal 0. And to solve for the y-intercept, we let x equal 0. Okay. How about the zeros of a function? The zeros of a function is the same as the solution set or roots of a function. Thus, the zeros, roots, or solution set of a uh, rational function are values of x that makes the function or y equals to 0. So, therefore, so to determine the zeros of the function, we let f of x equals to 0. That is the same as finding the x-intercept of a rational function. So, I'm going to give you an example in finding the zeros intercepts of a rational function. Okay? But for now, this will be the end of this video. Thank you.